as the Rock of Polynesia, the tiny volcanic island of Niue is one of the largest coral islands in the world. With spectacular steep limestone cliffs along the coast and a central plateau. Well, In January 2004, the worst cyclone in living memory hit Niue, flattening the capital and causing unprecedented damage to the island. Lovely works down there, the Niue Hotel. Absolutely gutted. The island's only hospital was destroyed and other buildings, including homes, were damaged. Power and phone lines cut many roads closed and crops badly damaged. I was working at the time uh, with my father who was the former director of New Meteorological Service and the two of us went through a very, very um, horrific experience at the time. Uh, the wind was howling, we, there was the extension at the back of the, the main office, there was uh, going to be a new building there but then the, the roof blew off but the winds uh, were out of control and there was no way that we could um, go out and, and evacuate from the building because at the time we had reached uh, red alert and during red alert everything shuts down. But what was to come caught everyone off guard as 80 meter storm surges pounded the island. I think everyone was kind of complacent to it's just the normal strong winds coming in. Uh, we've been through this before. Um, there wasn't too much damage at the time. I think we're going to be okay. And you know, and that was kind of the um, the attitude that you know a lot of our people had at the time. Um, and they weren't expecting uh, a major one uh, from Cyclone Hetza. So if you look over the cliff edge of Niue at, at this moment, we're quite high. And, you know, we could be about 50 meters from sea level. But unfortunately that day, the sea level was the same as land and yet we had extra two meter swells um, on top. So, you know, it was unexpected um, and, you know, and it caught out a lot of our people on the low side, um, coastal side of Niue. In the immediate aftermath of Cyclone Heta, it became evident to the first responders and government agencies of the need for a joint national emergency operations centre to prepare for future disasters. The Pacific Community, or SPC's Building Safety and Resilience in the Pacific Programme, or BSRP, engaged with Nguyen stakeholders to initiate the construction of Nguyen's first ever NEOC. The newly constructed facility has some very unique features. The one of the things that we looked at was, um, you know, there is a, a need for space for people to come in and, you know, coordinate operations. Um, and this should be safe, there should be ample space. Because in an operation centre you have places where there needs to be communication, you know, there will need to be GIS work that is happening. They will also be reporting and so on. And then we have these TV screens that are being provided to get the flow of information going to and froing. Beside that, we also have the police. I guess it's quite unique here in Niue because we have the police and NDMO together. Um, I mean, in a sense, it's uh, strategic and realistic um, because it's, uh, it's a small country. Uh, these two um, you know, entities actually come together to deal with DRR and DRM in, in Niue. In October 2019, the Niue Premier, Sir Toke Tofukia Talangi, along with invited guests, joined in the celebration as the National Emergency Operations Centre was officially opened. For me, there is a feeling of accomplishment because it will be a building that will be used for years to come to coordinate to end uh, responses and also to prepare for disasters during peace times. It, not only that, because we are also coming to the end of a program that had been implemented for the last six years, the European Union funded uh, Building Safety and Resilience Project. After so many years of toing and froing discussions with uh, government officials as well as the NDMO and the police, We've come to 
to this stage of the, the event where we are now opening the National Emergency Operations Center for New Way. BSRP and the New Way NDMO also launched a disaster risk reduction and disaster management booklet and are conducting awareness trainings on the islands. We needed to do more awareness training, quite new for our people, but we had to get our staff out to go and do this awareness programs. So we merged with uh, Met Service um, and all the essential services that has a, an important role to play during disasters. We involved them in it so that they could go out and share uh, what their roles and responsibilities are so that people would know. For many new ends, they can now breathe a sigh of relief. The newly constructed Emergency Operations Centre can now ensure the people of Niue continue to endure through future natural disasters. Our people are quite resilient and uh, if I was to look at um, some of our people here, um, they're quite proud people and uh, you know they will always do everything to um, keep themselves equipped um, with uh, disaster equipment to ensure that they can go through any disaster. Mm -hmm.